G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, long time no see. About a month and a bit ago, my laptop died and I really couldn't fix it, so I had to wait until I could buy another one, but we are back. We are back, baby, and today I am bringing you people we've all seen at the football, number two. Let's go! That person who comes to a game and wears a neutral kit. So it'll be Melbourne and Geelong, and they'll bring an Adelaide kit. No, I don't know, I don't know. Now I don't 100% get that, only because I go for Melbourne and um, you know it's quite embarrassing to wear that kit anywhere else but the games, except for the last five weeks. Wear those kits baby. And it's worse when it's like a 40 year old and he'll wear like a random team kit and I just, I don't get it, are you trying to, what, what, are, you, what are you doing? What are you trying to say? You know what political statement are you trying to make? It's not getting in anyone else's head but your own and mine. There's a person we've all seen in the football before, probably age 50 to 60. That, you know, that middle-aged woman. Doesn't quite have the grasp on the modern football game. Probably goes by the name of Margaret. And she'll watch the ball get switched backwards. You know, a little bit of kicking backwards. Sometimes you've got to go backwards to go forwards. And she yells something out like this. Ah, uh, hello, the goals are that way. Look, Margaret, just because they're kicking it backwards doesn't mean they're just going to boot it through the opposition's goals. Margaret, they're kicking backwards because they're going to switch the play. They're going to switch it up. Something you haven't done with your haircut for a couple of decades. There's that guy at the footy who's always the unlucky punter. Oh, I had that defender on for first goal, but then I didn't put it on, and he's kicked first goal. First of all, mate, you've never put that bloke on for first goal, and no one ever would. Oh, I, I missed a multi by a leg. I missed a multi by a leg. I am, I am an unlucky punter. No, you're a, you're, you're a punter. That's all you are, honestly. Because that's what gambling is, losing. People we've all seen at the football as well, especially at Etihad in the last couple of weeks, is when opposition supporters just start belting the f out of each other. Punches fly between Collingwood and St Kilda fans inside the EJ Witten bar. Now, but what is going on? <laughs> Why are people fighting the footy? I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. I'm really not. Oh, we've all seen it at the football, the halftime hero. We've all seen the halftime hero at the football, whether it's a guy who drains a goal to win a big cash prize, or someone who gets a quiz right, someone who pashes his missus in front of the stadium on kiss cam. There's always a halftime hero. I was at the Melbourne Richmond game a couple of weeks ago, and they do a little segment where you take a hanger at quarter time at the ground. And this is one of the biggest halftime heroes I've ever seen in my life. Oh, that's good. Honestly, he got that high on Russell Robinson that he lands and knocked himself out. Oh, I loved it. I loved it. I wonder if the D's will ever do that again at quarter time, because he nearly died. Another person we've all seen at the football before is a Gold Coast supporter. Actually, um, I don't think I have. And the last person we've all seen, the over-enthusiastic cheer squad supporter. I went to the Brisbane Bulldogs game a couple of weeks ago and saw this absolute legend. I could not believe the ticker in which that bloke waved that pom-pom thing. It was, um, it was inspirational. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate all the support. So currently my Snapchat is open. You guys can send me snaps. So Snapchat me video questions. I will be answering them within the next week. On Instagram, we are very close to the 10K. I think you get a little K when you get to 10,000 Instagram followers. So I'm not quite gonna do a road to 10K Instagram followers, but we are very close. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you're missing out because I put up a lot of stuff like this. You're in the sash. Yeah, I'm getting the sash. Go the bombers, don the sash. Um, I really do appreciate all the messages I got in the last month saying, where the bloody hell are you? Because it makes me feel like you do want to watch. Come here, you, you bloody legends. Anyway, guys, that's enough rambling. Another video will be up later this week. I appreciate all the support, and I'll see you guys very soon. Ch-ch-cheesing.